Let's start by measuring a Parallax Finish Modular Boring Head Size 4. We begin by cleaning the tool using a lint-free cloth. Once we know it's clean, we can put the tool into our spindle. Clean the tool site of all dirt and debris with a piece of masking tape or putty. Let's start off by inspecting the cutting edge using the surface light inspection. We can use a slider bar to adjust the light intensity for better clarity. Once we know the cutting edge is acceptable, we can now measure the tool's diameter. But before, it's always recommended to measure with the front light off. Let's start off by selecting the geometry mode button so that we can get back into high point mode to measure the tool diameter. First, we need to focus the cutting edge using the focus gauge. Now we can initiate the spindle brake lock so we don't lose our spindle location. One of the requirements is that the tool has a 16 thou nose radius. The current measurement is 15 and a half thou, which is more than close enough. Let's freeze that value so that we don't lose it. Moving on to the lead angle, let's ensure that the insert has a 3 degree lead angle. The z-axis is currently in high point measurement mode. Let's change it to edge tracking mode. When the axis is in edge tracking mode, the angle display becomes active. The angle display currently reads 2.516 degrees. This is close enough, so we must have the correct insert. So we can freeze that value as well. Now that we've ensured that we have the correct insert installed on the finish bar, we can preset our tool to cut a 2 inch diameter. Let's put the z-axis back in the high point mode by selecting the z-axis icon. Adjust the boring bar while watching the z-axis readout so that we know what diameter we're at. Now that the tool is verified and preset, we can print a label. Another common scenario with a boring bar is making an incremental adjustment. To do this, all you have to do is select the incremental mode icon which zeroes the x-axis at the current location. The bar can now be adjusted in any incremental direction from the current location it was zeroed from. This concludes the origin training video. You can refer to the operation manual for more information on measuring and inspecting tools. And from all of us here at Parallel, we would like to thank you for purchasing your origin presetter. Don't forget to keep us in mind for all of your high precision tool holding, boring, tapping, and presetting needs.